In this video, I'm going to create a data module by bringing in some tables and then adding an additional data module as a component of this data module. I'm then going to set security. relationships and then build a view from the data module that can be exposed to authors to simplify the authoring experience. So I'm going to start by creating a new data module. I'm going to specify the source. In this case, it's a, it's a server source. Great Outdoor Sales. I'm going to use the Go Sales data. I'm going to select the tables that I want. So I'm going to pick branch and country. And then I'll say OK. And that will be the beginning of my data module. I'm going to expand branch to see the queries. There's a three or four columns that I don't want in here, so I just select the columns and remove them. I don't need multi-byte columns in this example. And then I'm going to expand the country. When I look at that, all of the country descriptions in different languages are provided. So I'm going to remove all the languages. I'm just interested in English for this data module. Select all of those. Use the three dots and click remove. So just removes them from this data module. I'm going to add another source. As I said, I'm going to use a source that is an existing data module. So I navigate through the content, find my product orders, which was in an earlier video. And now I have the product orders and I have my branch and country. So I'm going to look at the diagram view and I can see that these two different sets of tables are not related to each other. So I need to create that relationship in order for all of these tables to be connected. I take branch, and I'm going to take order header. No order header has a, a branch code as well. So I go create relationship. From the branch side, I'm going to take the branch code, which is just a numeric. And then on the, the many side of the order header side, I'll take the sales branch code. So you can see the numbers repeat. I say match selected columns. I'll quickly show you the options for relationships. These are the different ways you can combine data. And I say OK. So that creates my relationship amongst all the tables. From there, I'm going to save the data module. Navigate to the area of the content I need that I want to save it and give it a name. Product orders geo. And I'll click save. So go back to the table view. And now I'm going to specify data level security. So I open up Go Sales, which is the actual data source connection, and I'm going to establish data security on the country table. So I click on the country, set security. I say add security definition. I have to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to use North America. I'm going to specify security for North America versus Europe at the user level. So I call it North America. Then I can add the users and groups. I'm going to use the Cognos users, so individual users. I'm going to choose Mark and Sam Spade. So those are the users that will be secured this way. I go in and say, what column I want. In this case, I want to use country EN, which is country in English. And I just go into a filter dialog and I can select the countries I'm interested in these users having access to. So Canada, Mexico, and the United States. So that creates the first data security rule for North America. I'll add another security definition. In this case, we'll call it Europe. Again, go to the user list. I can do it by group or group or individual users. I'm going to provide security for Lonnie and Sherlock in this example. Again, I'll pick the column that I want to put security on, country. Go to the filter dialog and I can select the countries that are in Europe. I can also use the expression editor so you can get very complex with how you want to set these up. Just provide a simple example here. So Netherlands, Spain, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. And I say, OK. So I've established my two security rules, North America and Europe. So I'm going to create a new table. This table is going to essentially be a view. So I'm going to select the tables that I want in this view. So I want branch and country because I want to include the city and the country. I need the product line. And I also want to include the order details, which is where the numerics are that I need to use. You should have seen in that where it shows you it's going to create a view. So these are the tables that I've included. And I can select specific columns from the table. So I want city from the branch table. 
I want the country name from the country table. So I select, deselect country and just click country EN. So I've got two fields. And I also want the product line, just the product line name. So product line EN, so just the English product name. And lastly, in order details are those measures that I'm interested in providing in this view. So as I expand the measures field, the measures tab, you'll see that I can pick line cost, line sales, and quantity. So I've established five columns in my view. So to provide a very simple view for an author to work from. And I'll click finish. So there's my table, my view table right at the very top. So I'll click on the table. You'll see the six columns. And I'm going to format a couple of the columns. So I go to line cost and line sales because those are generic amounts. I want to format those with a currency. So I go data format. I can select the format, currency, and I say OK. So you'll see the currency symbol appear. So that means everywhere this is used, we'll have a currency. So I go home. I'm going to go create a dashboard from this particular data module. So there's the various tables. I'm going to use that view. So I'm going to bring the product line and I'll expand the measures and bring line sales. And I'll just drag and drop those to the dashboard and it will render a column chart. So I'll put it up in the top left corner of the dashboard, make it a little bit bigger so I can see it better. Now I'm going to focus mode and I'm going to add city to the color. So we're going to have a different color for every city across the product line. So you'll see there's a lot of small columns and then a very large column for Geneva. Because logged in as a user who has access to all the levels of data, I see all the data. So I'm logged in as a user whose name is Cognit. So I'll save the dashboard, sales PL city. So now that's the user at the top. It says Cognos. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to sign for users to show you what that security means. So first I'll sign in as Sam S, Sam Spade. Now we'll navigate to where I saved that dashboard, a demo. And you'll see sales PC. I click on that. It loads and you see that I only have seven or eight cities basically cities in North America, because that's the security that I had set up. The security is a country. So I sign out of Sam, and I'm going to, this time I will, I will sign in as Sherlock. So when I bring up the same dashboard, you will see it from a European perspective, or only cities that are in Europe. Because I created that view, it provides that level of security for users, where the th they will only see the things they should see based on the data security. Sales PL City, again, you'll see it rendered. There's the great big bar for Geneva on the far right, and those are the list of cities.